And here's our next set of examples where we're now going to go the other way. We're going to take a single log logarithmic expression. We're going to expand them using the rules of logarithms. So here, looking at our first example, we have the log of a product of 3 times x. So this can be written as the log of 3 plus the log of x. So that's how we can expand it. Here we have x to the third power. So this can be written, and I should put equal signs there, as 3 times the log of x. So simply take the exponent and put it in front. Here we have a product, and we can rewrite this one. So this can be written as the log of 3 times y to the 1 half power. So first we're going to separate those two, so this can be written as the log of 3 plus the log of y to the 1 half power, and then we can take the 1 half, put it in front, so this is equal to the log of 3 plus 1 half times the log of y. And finally, our last example, here we have a quotient, so this can be written as the log of 5 minus the log of xy squared. And then we can look at this, we can then separate the two, so this is equal to the log of 5 minus the log of x plus the log of y squared. And then I can take the 2 and put that in front of the log symbol here, so this is equal to the log of 5 minus the log of x plus 2 times the log of y. And then finally, get rid of the brackets and apply the minus to both uh, parts in the brackets. So this is equal to log of 5 minus the log of x minus 2 times the log of y. So that's how you expand these logarithmic expressions so that you can simplify them in a way. Well, it looks more complicated, but it's easier to work with them when you have them in this particular form. So that's something that has a practical application in a lot of math. So anyway, here's the examples. Hope you have some gained understanding from this.